Why are we here? Why are we found in this umbrella? Why are we found in a, an umbrella of mental health? Why are we found in an umbrella of rehabilitation? Some of us are also taking much of their time to wonder how they found themselves in such facilities, which is not important in this case. But at the end of the day, what we need to ask ourselves, what did they see that enabled them yeah, to get me to such a platform where they talk about change? We're going to teach you how to let go of drugs completely. Because they say very well that uh, at the end of it all, it is our mind. It's our what we call cognition. Meaning, we can choose to survive with no drugs. Because it's a choice. Recovery is a choice. So when you're found in such an umbrella, when you're found in such a platform, much of what one should do is to come back into this format of reflection. Because it is through reflection that will help you understand the underlying, underlying issues that you're surrounded with. The underlying issues that are pushing you to suffer at your age. So with no reflection, without reflection, there's no recovery. Until you come back to your senses and make the right decision that is found in the cognition. So I will tell you the reason why at times you are being talked to, Amuna Ongeleshwa, but you feel like whatever guys are telling you, they're wasting their time. That is not who you are if you look at your life then in your early days. You are a very humble guy. You could be addressed and you could listen. You could always align yourself to the tradition of the family. But of late, you are no longer listening to anybody. When you are talked to, the way you answer them is very rude. It is not your wish to do all that. There's a place in your brain that has already been interfered with. That is the executive functioning. The prefrontal cortex is already getting damaged with that alcohol that you're using. Because you're chasing being high, but you don't know the repercussions. Yeah. So when they query for an MRI yeah, scan, then they will realize that the brain imeanza kukwana some errors, we call them lesions, yeah? Which will take years and years to repair. So you need to think of when do you want to change? And by answering that question, one should do what you call activation of common sense. You can never change the position of alcohol or those drugs that you're using outside there. You can never change it. The only thing and the only our authority that you have is to change your behavior. To get rid of some delusions of grandiosity that you've quoted yourself with. You can only heal when you get to understand who you are. You can never heal when you are quoted with resentment. You can never heal when you cover yourself with a lot of issues. Do you know the pain you have projected your family through as a result of your present behavior because again if you don't know your present behavior then you will always find yourself on the opposition where when you are when you're on a pinga program why am i here i want to go home you are home but you could not settle at that in that home there is no any solution apart from facing him who can move mountains apart from facing him who can pump your heart while you are asleep and that is nani god that is where the solution is step two came to believe that a power greater than ourselves could restore what sanity man cannot restore your sanity we can only remind you of where you're going wrong yeah and that is what we are, that's why i'm here just to remind you that if you don't reflect never expect recovery Addiction cuts across the board, irrespective of how educated you are, how beautiful you are. 
And the best thing that alcohol did to me was to mess me up. Because it got to a point where my withdrawals were so bad, I could not stand. I, I, the, only, the best thing that I could do was to kneel kama nimejishikilia ukuta hivi. My brother alikuwa na niletea steam asubui and alipatia na uh, half liter tulikuwa na itaga mtoto. Dio nalipatia kwa mattress because I had sold everything nilikuwa nimebakisha mattress peke yake which was this thin and very old I don't even know where I'd gotten it from. And alipatia hapo dio sasa nipata ka steam nikauke 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 for about 2 3 minutes nivute sigara ya rosa tena nikauke vizuri dio hiyo kukauka iniwate. Dio sasa tuende tukahaso kuhaso ni kuiba. I have three children. They are all grown up. But alcohol messed up my relationship with my children. First of all, it messed me up, me as a, as a person, as an individual. The people who are affected most is our children. Is our children. My daughter used to come and look for me in the bar because I was an absent parent. And even when she was young, when my mom took away the children from me, because it got to a time where I could not take care of my children, my firstborn daughter started parenting their siblings when she was still a child herself. So you find like my daughter na right now, she cannot stay in a relationship. Because one, she missed her face in life. So she gets into a relationship wana kosana. Why? Because she wants to control. She it was so used to controlling the siblings that even right now she wants to control even me. So she also suffers from separation anxiety. Hmm? I attempted suicide three times. Musinione evil. Nasiku daddy because God wanted you to use me to come and give talks and hopes to people and hope to people like you. That there is a way out. Embrace the program. Nakusamokweli you will make it.